he has had to install the Safari Snorkel for the Toyota product. Lay out all the hardware and familiarize yourself with the kit. Add thread locker to the studs, then tighten them onto the snorkel. Wipe away any excess and allow them to cure while we prepare the vehicle. Undo the 10mm hose clamp in the intake tube and then the two 10mm bolts holding in the inlet spinner tube. There is a little tube spacer that sits on top that can be popped off, revealing the tabs that need to be grinded down. Use an angle grinder to smooth out these tabs as the new tubing will sit on top. Next, we'll need to drop the inner wheel guard in order to gain access behind the front quarter panel. Remove the 10mm bolt at the front on the edge of the bumper. This bolt is longer than the rest, so keep an eye on that. Then remove the five 10mm bolts along the outer edge of the wheel arch and the two 10mm bolts near the mud flap. Pop out the wheel arch in order to gain access to the clips along the rear edge of the guard liner. There are several of these clips along the inner edge of the guard liner as well. So remove these with a trim removal tool, then drop the wheel guard. Use masking tape to hold the template on the quarter panel, then use a hole punch to mark the drilling points. Widen the stud holes to 16mm using a step bit, then use a 95mm hole saw to create the snorkel opening. Deburr and paint protect all the drilling holes. Loosely attach the A-pillar bracket to the snorkel, then hold the snorkel up to the vehicle and align with the mounting holes. Mark out the drilling points for the A-pillar bracket, then use a step bit to widen out the holes to 8mm. Deburr and paint protect, then add the screw seats and secure the A-pillar bracket using the supplied Phillips head screws. Loosely attach the snorkel to the A-pillar bracket, then loosely mount it to the vehicle. There is a solid interconnect tube which uses the shorter silicone extension on the shorter side of the pipe which connects to the snorkel. The longer silicone pipe attaches to the factory intake spinner and that connects to the deeper section of the interconnect tube. Install everything loosely onto the vehicle, then tighten up the snorkel stud bolts, then the A-pillar bolts, and then the hose clamps and factory intake spinner.
Install the air ram with the supplied black hose clamp and then reassemble the wheel guard liner. And there you have it, your Safari Snorkel is installed. 